So first, I'm going to shine a bright light in your left eye. Just keep looking straight ahead, please. Okay, now we'll do the other side. Good. Now I'll do the same thing again, but when I shine the light in his left eye, I will check the pupil on the right side because the pupils constrict together at the same rate even though I'm only shining the light in one pupil. So when, when I shine the light in the left eye now, I'm going to check the right pupil and make sure that it constricts at the same rate that the left one does, and it did, and I'll do the same thing again on this side. Okay, good. So we've now assessed that the pupils are equal, they're round, reactive to light, and then the accommodation part, I'm going to, I usually hold the pen in front of the patient about a foot or so in front of their face, and then ask them to focus on an object that's further away, and what I check is for the pupils to accommodate, which means that when the patient focuses on something closer to them, the pupils constrict, but when the object that they focus on is further away, the pupils have to accommodate and they actually dilate. So in this case, I'm going to hold the pen right here above the camera and ask you to look at the pen and then look at the place um, on the wall. And look at the pen again and look at the wall. And here this is a very slight reaction, but the accommodation was there and the reason is that this room is not very big so he can't look very far away. But that is how we checked if the pupils are equal, round, reactive to light and accommodation.